my uh, esteemed colleague from Delaware says that uh, we have plenty to do when we get back, and he's certainly correct. Uh, um, I would join many of my colleagues uh, today, though, in pointing out that in the last three days, uh, we've actually gotten substantial work done. And uh, perhaps we've crammed into three days what using the regular order and the filibuster and the motions to proceed might have taken three weeks otherwise. So the leadership uh, on both sides of the aisle are to be commended for, uh, for this uh, burst of progress that we've made, and I hope we can continue that when we get back. Um, earlier today, this uh, Congress passed a significant piece of legislation authored by the gentleman who occupies the chair, my good friend Senator Johnson of Wisconsin. It's the Right to Try Act, uh, which uh, seeks to streamline the way people who are willing to uh, take a bit of a, a chance on a drug uh, a, in order to save their lives, uh, streamline the way that they can have access to perhaps uh, life-enhancing and life-saving drugs. A real achievement. I, I would congratulate my colleague from Wisconsin and, uh, and congratulate the leadership for facilitating this breakthrough. Um, moments later, uh, the, the Senate passed uh, a companion bill authored by, uh, by Senator Klobuchar and me, known as the Better Empowerment Now to Enhance Framework and Improve Treatments Act, or the Benefits Act. Um, this is a, another win for patients, Mr. President. Patients who deserve to have a voice in the drug approval process. And this bill, which is a companion to the very important Right to Try Act, will do that. The Benefit Act calls for a simple amendment to the Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act, one that could make a big difference to patients whose lives may depend on a new therapy or drug, specifically the Wicker Klobuchar bill would require the use of patient experience and patient-focused drug development and related data in, in assessing the risk versus the benefit of these particular therapies. Uh, the bill also includes information from patient advocacy groups and academic institutions. This is a small but important step forward, Mr. President. If signed into law, and I certainly hope the House passes it, and I hope the President would sign it into law, this bill would greatly enhance the data and information available to FDA when reviewing drugs, when reviewing medical products, and when reviewing therapies. It would also add to the progress Congress made in recent years, reaffirming the importance of patients' perspectives in drug decisions, decisions that can have a profound and lasting impact on the lives of these patients. Ask any American who suffers from a disease or who is watching a loved one suffer, and they will tell you that all information should be on the table when a breakthrough or a cure is at stake. Last year, Senator Klobuchar and I joined together to make the FDA's use of patient perspectives more transparent with what we call the Patient-Focused Impact Assessment Act. This was passed and was signed into law as part of the 21st Century Cures Act. The Benefit Act, passed by the Senate today, would keep that momentum going, building on the progress that we've made. Now, what progress have we made? Let me tell my colleagues this. For years, I have sought to find a cure for the devastating, fatal disease known as Duchenne muscular dystrophy. I've worked on this issue since my early years in the House of Representatives. Young boys, almost all males, is who this affects. These young boys face this fatal disease, and they know better than anyone what a drug can do to improve the quality of their lives. Since the Congress passed and the President signed the MD Care Act dealing with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, 
more than 15 years ago. Research has led to innovative therapies that have added a decade to the lives of these young boys. What an achievement by scientists in America. What an achievement for the government to have unleashed cures and research in this area. We need their voices heard, we need their stories heard, and we need the voices of patients with other diseases heard. So uh, I thank my colleagues in the Senate for joining with us on a unanimous consent request to pass this legislation. I thank the leadership on this side of the aisle and our Democratic counterparts on the other side. Uh, particular appreciation goes to Senator Alexander, the chairman of the HELP Committee, to Senator Murray, the ranking Democrat on the HELP Committee, for their valuable help. And, and appreciation goes to uh, perhaps a new attitude uh, for the rest of the year in this Senate to join together with unanimous consent um, and move bills and nominations forward that, uh, that have widespread support and consensus around the country. So uh, I congratulate the chair, uh, the senator from uh, Wisconsin, on, on an outstanding achievement. And I congratulate the, the Senate for, for um, joining um, with Senator Klobuchar and me uh, to help out in another way. Thank you, Mr. President. I uh, yield the floor.